The foundation of this collection was the idea that fantasy is an expression of creativity in the face of the modern world. The fantasy element of this collection is actually rooted in the response to hardcore reality. It's a typical Prada paradox. We're looking at lots of Art Nouveau. She's having a lot of fun. She's young, she's brave, she's bold, and she's sexy. She's our research and development for the whole world of fashion. Every season, she's, so, she's a surprise. So you never know what you will wait for. sophisticated eye that again and again puts textures together that you wouldn't put together, puts colors together. Just the wackiness of the shoes that were so far into wacky that they became spectacularly beautiful. She's a designer who has a finger in the wind. She's always checking out what's happening in society and reflecting that. Well, she said that she was thinking about the fact that women like softness and curves and it's something that she doesn't like. Much more girly than come to expect from Prada. I thought it was very young. I'd have expected more of those shapes at Mew Mew. She's often at her best when she does something that she actually has no natural empathy for, and it actually provokes her into doing some quite special things. She challenges herself. That's what all good designers do. They don't stay in their comfort zone. They constantly make themselves do things that they're not inclined to do. The jumpsuit is an idea that she evolved in the men's collection for spring. The patterns, the all-in-ones, I love that kind of thing. I mean, there was obviously a, a fall back to the 60s and the 70s, particularly long line jumpers, gorgeous long trousers, fitted down to the knee and then ballooned out in the most fantastic prints. It was so romantic. Whenever you see her, she's almost always wearing a girly dress and kind of funny shoes and mismatched tights. She is her own muse. It was a 21st century Hieronymus Bosch, Garden of Earthly Delights. And it wasn't pure erotica. It was also something much more primal and primitive. It's also magical and it's fantastical. In this show, we got her fantasies. Every season I hear people say, oh, this season I really don't like. And the season after you see everybody with the same uh, shoes and you see everybody remaking the same shoes. So she's always very disgusted. She really does like a revolution season on season. She's not one of those evolutionary designers. No, she really does do a whole change each time. And she always says it backstage afterwards, going, this season I wanted to do something totally different. You go, it's totally different as usual.